It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. Ah, Are you it, crazy? Bro. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, he picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... ...shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you get. Scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. No, this again. Oh. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we've got the tracks with the wagon then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die.
Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey, all right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and get ah! shot. Time here. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Why do these? I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? My dear. What's the problem? Money. Hey. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. You want to count to three? One, two. It ain't worth dying over. Tell him this, Jim. Why do these? Oh, God. Here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You make this quick. No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? I wish not that. You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Why are you? Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't. Honey, ah! Son of a bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Come on. You're better than this. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Arthur, look at him. Okay. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking... Look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I got a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. How's it looking in there? 
Let's go. Looking good in here. Jesus, hold on to the tape. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Should probably be going now. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <gasps> Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Shit. Come on, the last. Was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what all you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. 